Hi ladies, it's me again, Penny. I wanted to come on to show you, um, I've, I've derailed the, I've put away the sewing machine off the kitchen table for a few days and I've been wanting to use these for a long time. These beautiful papers, which I've just, as I'm talking, I put them down, were made by a very nice friend of mine called Betsy Doodle. D. Betsy Doodle, who I call BD. And she gave me these, that one's upside down, that's Birdie Wins. She gave me these when I did a visit. And they're absolutely beautiful. And you think, well, they're only backing paper. It's not just backing paper. There's been a lot of layers on this. It's just something I'm still learning, layers. I'm not very, very good at that yet. So to get these off, um, off uh, Betsy Doodle, it was, oh, look at that one. That's beautiful, isn't it? Um, it's fantastic. So, but as I say, I wanted to use them to good use. So... The first thing I did was, I've been seeing somebody, well, I'll take these out, watching somebody do, I think I got there by mistake, I was looking at quilting. And this was called quilting with paper, to make paper cards. I dare say all you card people know what I'm trying to jabber about. And so it was just, you know, putting together like you would fabric, but you're putting together paper and all of this actually is is, um, is BD's work which I've sliced up and put together and I think it makes an absolute charming card it's absolutely beautiful so I have the I haven't got any more of these but I had a few of these um, open appenditure is it open appenditure yeah and um, I'm just looking like the cat out the window. It's good. It's good. <laughs> he wanted to come in. Um, so I wanted to use them as a save to good use. And I think that's a beautiful way to use them. Um, and this is another way. Which is just very similar. But I have done them. You can't see very much in here. But I have did them in. Um, I tried to do them in different crisscross sections. You know this way and then that way. And then I just layered up. Um, a couple more pieces of paper and um, but I think they're different they're much different to what I usually use uh, tried to keep off the glitter a bit and um, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous and you can only do that type of thing with beautiful paper because that's you know this is the main attraction isn't it and uh, and I was so lucky getting as I say, this lovely paper from from Bet Betsy Doodle. I've also this week got out my old that was rubbish. That's why that one's going to be redone. Um, my I don't know what is it a mixed media pad. I've been watching somebody else. Well, I've been watching a few people um, painting on pictures from magazines. So I thought, well, I'll have a go at that because my portrait painting is not not the best, as I say. It's shades and all that, but when you've got um, when you when you've got a pitch from a magazine, as long as you remember before you cover it all with the, you know the paint, it it's giving you where the shadows are. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to take a little. I am. I'm going to take a little drink of water. Cheers, ladies. It's only water on this. Um, so, so that's very helpful. So, this was one I've done this week. Uh, nice sentiment. Let us love not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And as I say, I've tried to put some layers under here, um, but it, I, it's not brilliant. I've got a lot to learn. And on this one, I have used some of. Um, Some of these backing paper underneath this, I, I just ripped them up, you know, into different 
sections and, and stuck them down and went over them and then did like a flower design on it <coughs> again this this girl well, I used half a pace um, and a butterfly from some other magazine I think it was so uh, that was another one so I just wanted uh, Dee to know, and I put a feather on this. I did. I wanted Dee to know that I am in awe of a. Uh, uh, what does she call them? Not paint. I was going to say panty pads. Not panty pads, are they? The pa painty paper. Is that right? Painty paper. She went through, and um, I think she has like. Like I so saw, once you start, you can't stop with that particular thing. I know when I start on little cards or butterflies, I, do, I end up doing far too many. Because um, it gets addictive what you're doing. And you don't want to put away that all that equipment until you've finished doing it. <laughs> so, I've still got some left, so I'll be using it. There is some behind here as well. Um, this is an, a, another... Um, magazine person in fact the photograph ended she didn't have hair in the photograph this one the hair ended then so I had to come up with something and I've given her like a, um, a feathery feathers for her hair and a bit of a warrior paint on her face and um, and a little butterfly at the corner there in the bird dish I think there's another bird here somewhere, there it is. So, <clears throat> so that's what we've been doing, ladies. I've been getting, um, uh, uh, yep, yeah, that's all I've done. I said I didn't like the first one, so that'll be uh, redone. But that's easy, into with a bit of uh, gesso. You can just start again. Um, I've been enjoying it this week, I really have. Um, but you've got to continue if you've only got the one desk upstairs. <laughs> then if you go on to more delicate things, you've got to make sure everything's cleared away. Uh, unlike me, because otherwise you spill water on good lace and um, your painty hands get on something else. And oh dear. <laughs> That's what it's like. So I thought I'd come on and show you ladies that um, if, you don't, if you don't know Betsy do do, but I'm sure most most of my subbies do know her. We tend to share a lot of the same subbies. Um, but do go over and uh, give her some support. And she comes up with some really lovely uh, designs and um, ideas, you know, for, for for painting especially, I think, and um, things like that. Very creative young lady she is. So, that's me done for ladies, um, I'm going to, I'll let you see the, oh, I've still got a bit of time, here we are, there's the cat thing you see, and this is who we're going to let in, oops, where's he gone, give us a high five, high five, he knows he's not allowed in the look, high five, look, high five, good boy, <laughs> So now, it's the only trick he knows, ladies. He won't learn anything else. <laughs> now that's him. In. In touch. So, with that, it's goodbye from Pitt, who's going to sit there looking at his bowl. Now he's found a little bit of meat in it. Thank you for watching, ladies. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.